A long time ago, I discovered that half the trouble in this world is caused by the fact that some folks have gardens and other folks have hens. I had a garden in those days. When I say I had a garden, I mean I had the land. But my neighbor's hens got all the seeds I put in, so I decided to give up gardening and go in for hens myself. I saw an advertisement in the paper about a book called Double Your Income by Keeping Hens. So I sent for this book, and I could see that anybody with a bit of gumption could do very well in the hen business. Now, I'm not one of those get-rich-quick fellas, and I didn't expect to make a fortune straight up. But I did think I'd get enough eggs for our breakfast and make a bit of profit as well. I didn't intend to set up pedigree hens either. I just wanted ordinary, common, everyday hens that would lay three or four eggs a day apiece. I thought I'd charge about something a piece for my eggs. Not so much for the eggs, you know, as for the wear and tear of the hens. Of course, I must say I like the idea of fresh eggs. We get fresh eggs from our grocer, but sometimes when we open one, there's a very unladylike scene, and it makes me wonder whether the hen that laid it enjoyed robust health or not. One day, Blossom, that's my bad news, Blossom, well, Blossom came out to help me, and she said, isn't it wonderful to think that a black hen lays a white egg? I said, I didn't see how wonderful in that, and she said, could you do it? I said, don't be so daft, and she got very rough. She went in soon after, and I wiped the egg off my face and got on with my work. Now, I'd noticed that hen meal was very much like sawdust, and I didn't think the hens would know the difference, so I tried it out on an old yellow hen I'd got, with the result that when she hatched some chickens, Six of them had wooden legs and the rest were woodpeckers. Ah, well, I don't keep hens now because somebody visited me by stealth one night and did a bit of stock taking. But if anybody wants to buy a real good hen house and a book called Double Your Income by Keeping Hens, I know where there's a bargain waiting for them. <laughs>